India's food prices witnessed a significant increase, leaving shopkeepers and customers concerned in the Indian capital. According to Asochem, food inflation climbed to 18.32% compared from 14.44% the week before. Unseasonal rains and the ensuing damage it has caused to vegetable crops, such as onions, have been blamed for the surge in food prices. Economists are increasingly becoming worried about the ramifications if the country falls into a prolonged period of high prices. The problem is not the lack of supply, but the problem is the profiteering middleman who are creating the problem or causing this inflation. It is not the uh, gap between demand and supply. An unexpected increase of over 82% in onion prices and 58% in vegetables has led to the overall increase in food inflation. In just the last week, the prices of tomatoes, cabbage, brinjal, onion and cauliflower have drastically increased. Other items that have also contributed to the price rise are egg, meat and fish. Rates of most of the vegetables are very high and are forcing customers to buy everything in less quantity. All vegetables are becoming very, very high. It's, it is becoming difficult for every house lady to match with the budget. Experts blame government's poor price surveillance and inadequate supply chain infrastructure. But according to wholesalers, foggy weather has also affected supply chains. The uh, government of India have a very uh, elaborate system which we call as a public distribution system and government can efficiently use efficient, uh, uh, this existing public distribution system to curtail these prices. There is need to uh, use this system efficiently to crack down uh, the, this uh, inflation. The recent surge in food inflation may leave the Reserve Bank of India with no choice but to increase key interest rates. This is worrisome for the middle class who are currently paying monthly installments on government loans. Food prices in India are continuing to go up, adding to a concern among economists about a prolonged period of high prices, which can lead to a mass protest and harm the country's economic growth. Munawar Zaman Press TV, New Delhi.